All right, YouTube. I got a cool little video for you here today. Uh, something that you might want to keep in mind on your next mower purchase is look at what kind of blades it takes. And make sure that it's got just a standard circle arbor for your uh, spindle shaft. You know, you don't want it to be starred or crossed or whatever because that locks you into having to buy those particular blades for your machine. Now, why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to just buy your normal blades? Well, I like this machine. I really like it. It's my errands. I had a errands in the past, and it was a wonderful mower. It uh, lasted for uh, nine, I think, nine years, and uh, was I had to replace the deck on it. I wore it out, uh, but then the frame broke. But other than that, I can't complain. So I got another mower, and I don't really like the blades on it because. Like I said, this is my brand new machine, and it's got 25 point something hours on it, and this is what the blade looked like at 24 hours. Just completely wore down and actually lost a piece. Now you can see what happened here. The sand sandblasted right here, right in the middle of this lift pad. Okay, so right in this area here seems to get the brunt of the sandblasting and just wears through and then leaves this out here flopping in the breeze as well as this. Plus, you'll notice that this right here is the only bit of your blade edge. Okay, so, but because it's just got a standard 5 8 arbor, that allowed me to go to Oregon's website <clears throat> okay now these blades this part number is actually the blades for a 61 inch skag okay there's the skag number but the blade is 21 inches okay these blades are 21 inches now I used to run a skag for eight hours a day working for my local county and I know that these blades last a lot longer than 24 hours um, you know I could probably get a good I'd say roughly 60 hours out of a set of blades because they're heavier the steel's heavier uh, doesn't have quite as much lift which is good I, I really don't want that much lift I don't want it sandblasting my deck uh, clearly it was sandblasting the blades and plus, look, I have a lot more meat right here, so I can sharpen this blade a lot more before it's wore out and gone. I mean, you can see <clears throat> this is a new blade. This blade has an, about roughly two hours of use on it. Okay, and you can see the difference there. Look how much meat is available for sharpening. This, you're only going to sharpen once. Well, once because I only sharpened these set of blades once and that was it I got one sharpen out of them and they're they're toast they're done the other advantage is these blades um, are I can only get them at Lowe's because Lowe's sells this machine a set of blades runs with tax roughly like 38 39 dollars okay now <clears throat> The skag blades, uh, and plus another disadvantage is the store doesn't always have these because, well, everybody's buying blades. Like the last time I went to go get another set of blades, because I always like to have a backup set, they didn't have a set available. But so these skag blades are um, about ten dollars and some change a piece. What I did was I went to the Oregon site, I found the blade. And they wanted like 14 something, you know, which still I was coming ahead, coming out ahead. Um, but then what I did was I took the part number and I went to Amazon. And of course, Amazon had them cheaper. So there you go. 
You know, I already test fit these blades on the machine. There's no clearance issues. And, um, you know, I know for a fact they're going to last longer because I used to run these blades. Uh, it's a thicker steel. There's actually, I mean, you can see, look, look how thick that is. Okay. Versus this. There's not really, you know, if I had micrometers, I could show you the difference. But I uh, just wanted to share that with you. So next time you're out purchasing a new mower, make sure you get one with just a plain Jane spindle shaft that's circular. Okay. And then that'll allow you to do like I did and find some aftermarket blades. Because if you go to Oregon's website, they make a whole, they make a ton of different aftermarket blades. And they might even, they, they do carry the ones with the star holes and stuff like that too. So, you know, for your craftsmen's and MTDs, Husqvarna's and all that. So you could probably still find a set of blades uh, for your machine there too that's different from factory. But I think it just opens you up to more possibilities. So, you know, roughly with shipping, I got these blades for like 20, I think $24 and some change or something. You know, and I know they're going to last longer, and it's almost half the price of what the factory blades are. So, there you go. Just wanted to share that with you. And just in case you're wondering, it's an Edge 42, okay? Aaron's Edge 42 and Skag 61-inch blades uh, will fit it. So, I uh, thought that was pretty cool and uh, should save you some money.